Greetings, denizens of the interwebs. I'm Lord Akantos. Welcome back to Stasis. Let's get out of this uh, hellhole birding laboratory and see if we can find now a way to get past robots that will kill us instantly on sight. So now, last time we managed to find uh, from the birding lab a portable defib unit and a bandage. Wonder if we could somehow shock the robot with it. There was also the sink here. Could we plug the sink with the bandage? Did it work? We don't have the bandage anymore. But... Ah, spilled water! Liquid from the overflowing sink has splashed onto the floor, po pooling on the polished floor. Okay. We're standing basically next to the water ourselves, but... Hey! It worked! I think. Deactivated sentry robot. Sits motionless as a wisp of smoke twirls from the burning CPU. Okay. <laughs> That was unexpectedly easy. Do we still have the defib, by the way? No, we don't. Okay. What did John tear off it? Twisted metal. Okay, then. We don't probably want to use that lift just yet. Let's check out the mutagen lab next. Oh, actually, since we did all that, let's save just in case. <clears throat> okay, now into the... Oh, it was the door. What the fuck? A pulsating mass of flesh and bone. A hideous agglomeration of flesh and bone. Limbs jut haphazardly from its mass. It sports a human head that gurgles out of sync with the pulsing of its other parts. Delicious. Jeez, the lights are <clears throat> doing a weird hypnotic dance in a way. This machinery must be where diagnostics for experiments are reviewed. Mm. Let's see what else. Readout screens are replete with analytical data about the subjects around you. There's a PDA. I think there's another PDA here, yeah. Recent blood discharge hints that this life form isn't viable in the long term. You don't say. <laughs> a human host appears to be a host for the genetic hybrid growing out of it. Birth was clearly messy and painful, so... Oh my god, that's... Part of a woman then, I guess. Oh Jesus, there are lots of corpses around, by the way. Just noticed. Let's see what else. Results of various tests which you don't understand flash across the screen in a blur. Oh boy. Eviscerated corpse. In the aftermath of this body's evisceration, you can't tell whether its legs were removed or whether it's ever had any. There's also a terminal with all three of these. Splayed open human body. Do medical schools ever feature bodies that so grossly exhibit their internal organs? Probably not. Conjoined mass. One of the failed experiments. A lump of organs held together by wrinkled skin. Bone poke through the flesh in spots. Delicious. Preserved conjoined twins. The corpse of a creature hangs preserved. It may have been a twin. Two heads are fused together and a pair of spines meet. Each spine wraps around the other like a gnarled mountain range. Wow, that's fucked up. Test results flash across the readout screens here. There's... Oh, I thought that's a handprint or something, but it's a liquid nitrogen canister. Liquid nitrogen feeds the surrounding specimen containers. A standard looking human skeleton. A large infant skeleton of what must have been a very large infant, yes. Okay, no description for this one here. Oh boy, let's close in. <sighs> this is the purpose of the group link. 
It's not on Earth. People can't see it, so they don't care. But if they knew... So what? They wouldn't care. Out of sight, out of mind. Humans in a nutshell. Oh, more conjoined twin hybrids. Two bodies conjoined at the head share one brain. Oh. It doesn't seem that the brain is up to the task of coordinating movement between the two bodies. Probably not. <coughs> Scanner pulsing with phosphorus light awaits its next patient. The scanning base glow with an eager light. This was an overgrown hybrid. This appalling distended creature appears to be a hybrid, although of what is unknown. It is not completely human. That much is absolutely certain. A computer terminal, but this one we can't interact with. Console is dormant, awaiting input from the staff who will never return to work in this slaughterhouse. More of these power cells. Whoa. If they were more open, this wouldn't happen. Open to who? The people? Governments? Other corporations? I'm on cast. A bit of our humanity, I suppose. That's one way of putting it. Okay, I think it is time to start reading again for a change. Let's start with this PDA. Dr. Marvin DeSantos. March 2nd. Man, that bitch from shipping won't get off my back. You fuck a girl real good and she just comes crawling back. If she doesn't get out of my hair, I'll have her moved off ship. Dr. Malan is a prick, but he looks after me like that. I gotta say, being on Project C it is awesome, man. Okay, so we gotta do some pretty nauseous shit, but in exchange I got a lot of protection and an honorary title. Dr. DeSantos. I like it. Dr. Malan knows about my contacts and private cargo that appear that arrives on board and i know he hates it but there ain't nobody else prepared to work under dr backman that guy's one twisted fuck and also one of my best customers i get imports sure but my own private lab is what manufactures backman's pathway shit funny i never realized how dependent these smart asses of science are on drugs personally never touch the stuff you gotta have your wits about you man especially around here <clears throat> well, I'm not surprised if there were several here who gladly did drugs working with this shit. Probably the reason why there weren't more suicides happening. May 15th. Wow, Dr. Williams, Charlotte. I never would have figured that uptight woman was a slut, but holy hell, she just gave me the ride of my fucking life. Who'd have thought it? Slinky lace under that lab coat of hers, and for a woman in her mid-forties, a body that makes you want to get on your knees and howl at the moon. Against the table, pressed up against the viewport windows, on top, underneath, like a frigging rattlesnake. Of course she's Looney Tunes. Probably thinks I'm her dead husband or something. Like I care, as long as she keeps coming to me to fulfill her needs. Wow, this guy was a real... asshole, pretty much. In addition to being a drug dealer, of course, so, I mean, that alone says a lot, but... Crazy but smart, and she has no idea how much I know about her little project. I saw the details. People just think I'm a smack-talking smartass, but I've been training on the Groom Lake since I was 16. I studied chemistry and genetics, aced all of it too. She thinks I'm too stupid to understand. So... <clears throat> had blackmail material, probably blackmail some people too, I would guess. September 9th. Thinking I could have gotten myself in too deep here. The drug thing was fine, but this whole industrial espionage thing is kind of freaky. I don't think Dr. Milan knows. I know Lincoln watches me with an eagle eye, but he can't know for sure. If he did, he'd eject my ass from the ship with the rest of the failed hybrids. But goddamn, the money is good. I earned my year's salary by sending some info to Blackstar Industries. My contact gave me more money than I could conceive for leaking one report. One! I met the guy while I was on leave. He was a smug dickhead who somehow knew what I did, and then he flashed the cash. I've got no lo loyalties to the company, and I know how Dr. Milan treats loyal staff. That guy can turn on a dime when it suits him. I've heard of weird shit going on down in the decks below, and Seed has me feeling it'll soon be time to get the hell out of Dodge. Pronto. 
One or two more reports might just give me what I need. So he was also selling information and probably research and all kinds of shit to the competitors. November 20th. Nobody knows about my little acts of espionage. But who'd care? This ship is falling apart. Some of those fucked up things that Backman and Milana made are on the prowl. I stashed away my cash as soon as I heard things were going wrong, but money ain't gonna make a spit's worth of difference if we all get killed. Milan's taking all this way too calmly. Actually, I'd say he's enjoying all this. He came into the lab this morning, he still makes us all report to the lab, and was grinning the whole damn time, his eyes all red like he was coming down from a high. That guy does not need drugs for a high, his general fucked upness is what he rides. And here was me thinking Backman was the crazy one. How oh, wrong you were. Last entry, February 1st. It's just us. Oh god, not even Backman is around now. Charlotte was dragged away to the labs a few days ago. We're sealed off from the other decks. I reckon it's only a matter of time before Milan decides to do something about me too. I've been living on this ship for years. I know about hidden passages that even Milan doesn't know about. I'll get over to the communications array and let off a signal. Hopefully they'll get to us before Dr. Milan finds out. <coughs> Hidden passages, eh? Interesting. And yeah, this is probably, I think, the latest entry thus far. Like, February 1st. I don't think we've read anything this late. Everyone pretty much recorded the last entries earlier, I think. Or I just don't remember the very recent ones might have been. <clears throat> but yeah, this guy definitely survived quite long compared to most. Okay, next PDA. Dr. Clifford Backman. Uh, a few more entries. This one ends in January. It says there are no years, I'm guessing January of like after the incident, January. And this one is pre incident. But yeah. Uh, January 16th. They said I'd never make it to 60. Ha! 85, you fuckers! Old and still cooking with gas. Was this guy eight, 85? The guy the um, De Santos just described in some of his writings entries. Three bastard kids and I outlived them all. Okay, so I was young when I had them. Those girls never even knew I was the father, of course. I had to switch the DNA samples so they didn't know the little shits were mine. I'm too old now for all that, but you never completely lose your eye for ladies. I'm starting to see how they managed to do all this shit here. This place was riddled with cunts. Absolute fucking cunts. February 28th. I might have false teeth, Dr. Milan, but I'm no moron. For the good of humanity, I'm a sociopath and alleged rapist of women. Pretty much confirmed to be rapist then. But your little speech to the crew was less sincere than anything I could say with a straight face. At least you know how to turn a blind eye whenever I have to get rid of troublesome subjects, right, Milan? I mean, <coughs> if he wasn't an actual rapist, why would he bother putting that into the entry there, the alleged rapist part? The new gas for the chambers is working splendidly. An improved kill rate of 60% on the old formula. I watch those poor fuckers writhe and die. We have a viewing window now, just so we can make sure it's done. If I were a moral man, I'd call it perverse. It's lucky for Project Seed that I couldn't give a shit. I thrive when I don't have to answer to everyone with a conscience. March 17th. This will not do, not at all. I need more subjects. The rejection ratio of the DNA splicing is stratospheric, so not only do I need more bodies, but I need better ones. They bring me imports and strays, but the best results are achieved with crew members. One cannot prey too often on those, of course, no matter the need. My chosen ones were always those who wouldn't be missed. The furnaces are inadequate for my disposal requirements. I'm told they're so hot that they could destroy dark matter. They seem slow to respond when burning flesh though, and the smell is hardly pleasant either. It reminds me of that injured dog that I found as a little boy growing up in Missouri. It looked at me with a pleading look, the kind of sick patient gives a doctor they trust absolutely. 
Naturally, I stomped on the mongrel's head. It was a mercy. There are too many in society who have a similarly damaged disposition. It's a kindness to snuff out their worthless lives. Wow. This guy was one sick fucking puppy. August 12th. I must get more pathway. That little prick de Santos is usually more than forthcoming with its ingredients, but he says his own suppliers are having problems. I know you, de Santos. I know you're not a real doctor. I know the kind. I have five PhDs and can tell when men have been hired for their instincts rather than their knowledge. Meanwhile, the cutting and splicing continues. Oh, and Charlotte, we all know about your little experiment, you stupid bitch. First she kills her partner by accidentally exposing him to a lethal virus, and then she goes gaga for him. That's the sort of beautiful incompetence that slays me. I spent years perfecting the art of the kill, making a murder appear a mishap, and she went and did it all completely by accident. What perfect nonsense. <clears throat> uh, yeah, even basically jealous of <laughs> that kind of a thing. Like, uh... This guy was really, really fucked up. October 10th. I held a subject down today and used my surgical hammer to cave in his windpipe. Then I gouged out his eyes and tried to rip his jaw from its socket. My goodness, what an outburst. I'm becoming careless. I need more pathway. Dr. Milan is starting to worry that my tendencies cannot be controlled. He need not worry. I'm still focused on seed. Seed is still just that. A seed. But this chrysalis will soon break open and blossom. The successfully bred homo novi wait in their containment cells while their unsuccessful brethren, reduced to a viral mulch that's already breached the containment seals of the ship, grow. Its genetic makeup might be little more than trash, but it is astoundingly tenacious. I have to respect that which kills with such efficiency. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think Homo Novi essentially means like new man, new human, like, I think. Not sure. November 12th. I woke up in the emergency room today. Somebody found me on the stairs. I can't remember much. What I do know is that both my fucking legs are up in casts. I better get comfortable because Dr. Graham says I'll be in here for at least a month. I guess he took too much pathway. December 23rd. We die as the Novi cut us down. But I am not ready to be replaced by a new species. Our creations are impressive, but I don't share Milan's fanaticism for what is happening here. I must try to make sure one of the lifeboats is available for me. A shame there was not another for that delectable young thing. What was her name? Callister? I would have liked to have her around when this ship was going to hell. She's dead, however. How unfortunate. January 3rd. I may be old, but I'll tear anyone who tries to stop me from leaving apart at the limbs. I have survived police investigations, court cases, vengeful spouses and idealistic lab hands. I will gut any shitbag trying to prevent my escape. And that includes you, Milan. I will jab out your eyeballs and eat them before I submit to you. Uh huh. Yeah, they weren't getting along either. I mean, mental cases rarely get along with each other. <laughs> or anyone else for that matter, but especially not with other mental cases. Okay, should we take the liquid nitrogen canister from here? Yeah, let's try. Okay, we got it. Liquid nitrogen canister. These won't be preserved eventually anymore. <laughs> then. Okay. Mutagen Laboratory. Hybrid rechecked 811. Report by Milan. A highly unusual form of rejection, such as has not been observed before, manifested in this hybrid. It is entirely possible that the mutagenic compounds used to synthesize the hybrid DNA was faulty in this particular instance. Usually, with any rejection, there is a sign of initial bonding and then a breakdown. But in this case, there was absolutely no bonding attempted whatsoever. Given the thoroughness with which we create the DNA, I suspect that the centrifuge machine for this particular batch was faulty. 
Repair and a maintenance check of the machine is ordered Im immediately. Recommendation, destroy what remains and also destroy the fetus. Oh, slug gun operator's manual. Warning label and everything. That would be nice to get to read, since we have one. But... Seems we cannot. Come on, John. Okay, hybrid rejected C. By Dr. Backman. Subject died during birth. It can only be surmised that death was due to a failing in the host as all reports and tests leading up the birth showed no signs of fetal defect. Upon further investigation of the woman's medical history, it was noted that she experienced complications when giving birth to a child previously. This host would not have been used had this been highlighted. In light of her medical history, I now assume this was the cause of the fetal distress and death of the subject. Note, host is being kept alive and has undergone one transfusion. Recommendation, revoke host's life support order and dispose of body with hybrid reject C. Oh man, what about this conjoined mass? Hybrid reject 604, Dr. Williams. During the autopsy of hybrid 604, there were signs of renal failure. It appears the kidneys were unable to process the amino acids required for the breakdown of nutrients. The damage to the liver, stomach and intestines show the same degenerative patterns. Reason. It is possible that the report of the mother giving birth three months prior was in error. Comment. Further reports regarding the failure of mutagenic compounds will be finalized later. There's uh, some sort of card with a seed written on it. Some sort of a drawing. Can't really... Not sure what it's representing. Shooting something, maybe? Um, get out from this... Oh yeah, exit. <laughs> Oops, forgot. Okay, I think that was all the reading there is here. So, let's head <coughs> back into the corridor and I guess we'll be heading to that deep darkness next, since we can't get up here. Nope, we can't. I guess we'll have to use this. Oh no, it's the one in the middle. We go up from here. I thought this here is the platform and this, there was just a terminal for it. <laughs> but yeah, it was in the shadows. Warning. The oxygen atmosphere generating system is no longer functioning. Product failure is imminent. So product failure is the first thing they, the warning even mentions instead of anything else. Not even a handprint marks the surface. Oh yeah, <clears throat> we did read that description. Let's see if we pr get on the power pad. Does it power something up? The shapeless maw of the unlit void. Black void. <laughs> this will probably kill us if we try to walk through, but let's see if there's a death scene with that. Nope. John refuses to go kill himself. Wait a second, there was that n <clears throat> note on the computer. Maybe it's a hint. That drawing. Something being shot. There's nothing like here with these traps, but could we use this canister? If we shoot the canister with the slug gun, can we blow anything up? Doing some... Thing. Okay, but what's the point of the power pad? Okay, I don't... <clears throat> we can't aim at the... I don't know, let's try. John, what the hell? Oh, does the gun need... Hasta la vista, baby. I guess the gun needed that power pad then. Oh, Sprite. Now we can move to through the airlock. But that'll wait for the next episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day and or night. See you next video. Bye.